Today, folks, what we're going to do here, I'm going to show you how to replace the wiring. I want you to look at that very closely. The breaker. I've disconnected this wire because I'm ready to do this uh, splice. We're going to pull everything out and get this started. I'm going to show you step by step procedure on how to pull in a new circuit without a fish tape and how to do it correctly. Okay, what we've done here, I disconnected the power going into this breaker and we got power feeds coming up here. What somebody has done, they've actually taken the power wires from here, fed them up to a breaker here. You look close, this is all burnt. I'm going to put this cover back on just for a safety. What we're going to do here is uh, we'll put this cover on here. And what we've done now, we've already pulled out one wire, okay? I'm pulling out the second conductor, okay? I'm going to show you how to pull everything out. And we're going to use these wires here as a measurement. I'll show you how to do that in a second. Here's our pulling conductor right here, so I'm going to show you how to splice that together. Okay, okay what we've done, look here folks, see two red conductors laying out here. We pulled those out of that meter room over here to my left. We already pulled a uh, ground wire here. This is a number 10 ground for you electricians and you homeowners that needs to know what's going on here. And what I'm doing now is I'm pulling another conductor out. We've already pulled one. As you see this black one here, we pulled this one. And we've used these here as a measurement because we didn't have a, a ribbon to measure things. So I'm going to pull this out. <coughs> and also, just so you know, this is stranded conductor anything over a number 10 really when you're pulling it through three 90s and that's 90s that's where you go up and down and, and around a, a wall underneath the ground back up into a circuit you always want to use stranded conductors because stranded conductors are easier to pull than solid conductors this is for you homeowners and uh want to be electricians Okay, now we're going to get over here and we're going to splice in these three wires to my pulling conductor at the panel box, okay? Not and I'll kind of do like that. Okay, folks, what we've got, i got three conductors here. I'm going to tie them on to this number 10 conductor. This is my pull wire because I don't have a fish tape. And we've got to go from here all the way back across the room here, okay? And, and we're gonna we're gonna actually fish this wire up into this three quarter conduit here. So I'm gonna show you how we're gonna splice these together. Okay, what I've done is I've actually stripped the wire back. You see where I stripped everything back. I disconnected part of the wire, so I've, I thinned my strands out. Because remember, folks, we gotta have the head here smaller than the hole is going in. It's going into a three-quarter inch conduit, okay? So we're going to have this and all this going in. So I'm going to splice this together. We're going to do what we call a Western Union. That's how I'm doing a braid around the wires. Last few braids I'm just going to take and I'm going to wrap them both ways in both directions. That keeps the pulling, as he's pulling, it will add friction and it won't cause these wires to strip off. Take my side cutters here, make a nice little neat. I'm 
going to bring this down. I'm actually going to bring this down. I'm going to kind of weave it inside this conduit down here. I'm not conduit, excuse me, wire. Okay, now while I'm doing all this, I'm trying to keep a, a little triangle here so the head will be small, okay? Got to make sure there's no uh, pull, that everything's got to be even here. So I'm going to twist it right here. Nice and tight. And what we'll do once we get done with this, we'll get everything nice and smooth, and then what we'll do, we'll come over here and we'll tape it. Let's again bring this on down here. Okay, now I'm gonna take the black tape. Now the black tape we want to do what we call pull and stretch, okay? You don't want no like slack tape. I'm going to start up here. Okay, I'm just going to kind of pull it and stretch it at the same time so we keep it nice, small. We want everything as small as possible. As you get close to where your uh, wires come together, it's really important that these are as small as we can get them, okay? I'll show you a little trick in a second on this. As I get down here closer, it's very important that I have these all in line here. I'm just taking my side cutters here and I'm just going to try to make this head here as small as I possibly can. Okay, now what I'm going to do down here on the end, just flag my tape, I call it flag. Just fold it back, so when the guy gets another thing, he can just pull that tape right off there. Okay. Okay. Now we're ready to pull this. I see a bare spot, I'm just going to go ahead and wrap a little bit of tape here. Of course I'm going to pull and tape at the same time, make sure it's nice and tight. I don't have nobody to show us how we pull the wire, but I'm going to show you something else that we're going to put in here. It's called wire lubricant. Anytime you pull wires through a conduit, now we're doing it the hard way. We're pushing up because of the way it has to be on the other end. So I'm going to grease this thing down with wire lube as, the, as my technician pulls the other end, okay? I'm just going to take this stuff. It's nothing but soap. You can actually wash your hands with it. Pull it off. Be generous. Don't be shy. Go ahead and run it down about 10 or 12 feet. As he pulls this 
wire, I'll probably add more to it. Okay. Okay, folks, we pulled in the wire. If you look here, it's all done. We are going to replace this disconnect. I'll show you that after it's all finished. We pulled two number eight coppers and a number green ground. And we used plenty of the uh, wire pulling the lube, okay? This job went very well right here. Okay, so what we've done here, we've pulled a new circuit in the conduit all the way back to the new air conditioning unit, uh, square D breaker. This is square D disconnect. What we've done here, we've actually pulled in two new wires down here. This is the ground wire. Ground is always green. And here are the two wires that I'm adding in behind the lugs here. I'm just pulling this out. This is what they've had. They just had it all tucked in behind it. As a general rule, when you're doing a, um, electrical work, you always want to put your grounds first on, last off, okay? And what I'm doing here, I'm actually just tightening this up a little bit more. You don't want to over tighten these lugs. And, and you're, what you're really supposed to do is only torque these things down to a certain torque. For you real electricians, you might want to grab a uh, torque wrench. I don't know anybody that's ever bought one in my entire life. I'm sticking these wires in behind these lugs. Now this already has what they call deox. It's a deoxinization. It's a solution that you can actually put in copper and aluminum together. It's not recommended, but sometimes you have no choice, okay? I'm just kind of keeping some force down as I tighten this up. And what I'll do when I get finished, I'll tug on that wire to make sure that wire has caught. Notice how I take my hand, I'm just tightening, but I'm not over tightening, I'm snugging. All right, this is good and tight. Now I'm going to take this wire and do the same thing. Three-eighths Allen key. Folks, I recommend you definitely not doing this unless you're a licensed electrician or a person that's got several years in the trade. This is very dangerous what we're doing here because these lugs are actually hot right here. This is a live panel. Okay, that's, that's good. Now I'll show you what I'm talking about here. Okay, I'm going to show you what we've got here. Hot, hot, not hot, not hot, of course. That's why we have the green. I really highly recommend these tools for homeowners, handymen, electricians. Anytime you're going around an electrical current, you really need a safety device. This one here is an audible sound, matter of fact, I like that. Now I'm going to flip the breaker on. When you flip everything on, you always want to stand to the side. All right, now we should have current here, current here. Ground's good. You're not supposed to have current here because it's fed to the top. Okay, now I'm going to flip the breaker on, square D breaker. Okay, folks, we have continuity. We pulled the new circuit. We pulled everything in to the right capacity, the right wire size. If you ever have any questions, if you have any concerns about any type of electrical problem, please feel free to call 239-596-5855 or jonesairconditioning.com. Thank you.